For months, isolation was a great defense against COVID-19. But once the virus slipped into Canada's largest territory, isolation became a disadvantage. The worst outbreak is in Arviat, a community of more than 2,600. Like much of Nunavut, Arviat is accessible only by air or snowmobile, often with large families living in small houses and with limited health care resources. Much of the outbreak is along western Hudson Bay. Arviat has diagnosed eight new COVID-19 cases and now has 54. Whale Cove has eight cases. The largest community in the area, Rankin Inlet, now has six, and Santa Kilowack has two. So far, 70 in a matter of days. This is it, folks. It's time to take a stand and fight against COVID-19. We need you all to make sacrifices now to protect our communities. That sacrifice means a two-week lockdown for all communities in Nunavut. Except for essential workers and essential needs, the people are being told to stay home, not socialize, not travel. Premier Joe Savikatak told Global News they can handle four communities, but not much more. If it gets any more than that, then our resources would be, uh, would be beyond. We'd need more resources. Right now, we are pretty well at the limit of our resources in dealing with uh, four communities. Most communities in the north have at most a health centre, such as this in Rankin Inlet. The seriously ill would have to be flown out. If anybody is in that situation where they need ongoing fluid, oxygen or life support, then they uh, obviously can't stay in a health centre and will need to go to a southern hospital. Ottawa has helped with more testing capacity. It's also prepared to move COVID patients from their homes if the virus keeps spreading. That involves repurposing uh, schools in some cases, repurposing community centres to make sure there's, a, there's, there's isolation uh, and testing capacity. And it's something that we're very, very worried about, uh, particularly since you have people uh, of many generations living under one roof. If necessary, the military can and would be sent north. It's hoped it won't come to that. What we're watching for right now is the numbers. If we can uh, get the numbers to uh, be low or stay stagnant, then we know there's no community spread. The next two weeks will be nervous ones as Nunavut waits to see if the lockdown can curb the outbreak. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.